The majority of houses, businesses, and other organizations rely on a steady supply of energy from the power grid. It's easy to see why excellent electricians are in such high demand. Electricians are well compensated, work in cool places, on cool stuff, and can work in almost any country in the world. It can take some time to become a seasoned electrician, so we thought it was only fitting to give you some of the top tips for new electricians on the job. How to replace a broken light bulb, an issue that every Every electrician will experience in their career a broken light bulb in the socket. Broken light bulbs are inconvenient in any situation, but they're particularly troublesome when they break in the socket. Because all that's left to hold on to is brittle glass, unscrewing the small nubbin is practically impossible. Surprisingly, the majority of what you'll need to remedy this is a new light bulb. Begin by using a metal screw to remove as many scattered pieces and dust as possible. Make sure then to insert the replacement bulb into the socket by turning it in the opposite direction. This should catch and unscrew the old component, allowing it to be removed from the socket. The procedure will also remove all broken components, leaving the socket functional and ready for the new light bulb. Hopefully this tip proves helpful to those just starting out on the job. Make sure you have the right gear. Preparation is key to avoiding a possibly dangerous incident. When working on an electrical project, it's critical to evaluate the type of project you're working on, as well as what could go wrong. Is there a likelihood that such and such a scenario will come to pass? If anything happens, you'd better bring something to deal with it. Taking the time to thoroughly consider all scenarios that may arise and plan accordingly will enable you to deal with the unexpected when it occurs. This goes hand in hand with being prepared. One, if not the most key aspect of being safe in the workplace, is to wear enough reliable safety equipment. Electrical currents can be protected by wearing insulated gloves. Hard hats can assist preventing injuries from falling debris and dangling electrical wires, as such as in a construction site. It's also crucial to safeguard your eyes. Flame retardant equipment is also an important part of an electrician's work wardrobe, as fires and sparks that result in fires are common during routine operations. If you're not sure if yours is up to par for the industry, OSHA has precise guidelines for what constitutes adequate personal protection equipment when working with electricity. If ever something does go wrong, personal protective equipment is your last line of defense. Remember, test before you touch. The only way to tell whether a circuit or any other electrical component is safe to touch is to test it first. A multimeter is the most convenient tool for determining the current strength of a component. These are fundamental tools that may be found in the toolkit of any electrician. Multimeters give you a reading in volts that tells you how strong the current running through the electrical component is and whether it's safe to contact. Additionally, when troubleshooting readings from a multimeter might give you an idea of what the probable issue is. Never stop learning. Don't mistake completing an apprenticeship for the end of your education. There are numerous different electrical skills and courses can be learned. Furthermore, there are frequent modifications in local electrical standards or technical breakthroughs that you must stay up with. You'll need to remain on top of learning as well as crucial crucial trends like renewable energy and home automation if you want to stay on top of your game. Use string to cut PVC in small spaces. A pro tip for anyone starting out on the job, when you're on the job and urgently need to cut PVC and don't have a lot of area, whether it's a tight wall or half buried in a ditch, a handsaw isn't always an option. Fortunately, because PVC is plastic, you can cut the pipe cleanly with just one piece of string. All you need to do is simply loop the string around the back of the pipe and alternately pull the ends back and forth to saw it back and forth. If you do it quickly enough, the pressure, friction, and heat generated by the friction will force the pipe to give way in a shockingly short time. Try your best to master your problem-solving skills. Preparing or diagnosing electrical problems is an important component of an electrician's job and when you're great at it, it distinguishes you from the rest and propels your career forward. More often than not, the source of the problem is not immediately evident and you need to think on your feet to solve the issues. Half the battle is learning how to troubleshoot and solve problems quickly and efficiently. The other half of it is knowing how and when to use which diagnostic instrument. Knowing how to fix common electrical issues can allow you to complete jobs faster, allowing you to take on more business and leaving you with a trail of satisfied customers. Get up to date with the health and safety guidelines. Electric 
professions, like most trades, have a high risk of injury. Every day you're exposed to health and safety dangers as part of your employment. The good news is that with the correct understanding, the risk can be reduced. However, if you don't know what you're doing, you could end up in a dangerous situation. You need to ensure that you are always staying up to date on your workplace health and safety duties and rules to protect yourself, your coworkers, and your customers. How to prevent insulin itch. While there are many positives to working as an electrician, there are definitely downsides, one of which includes insulin itch, which it would be ideal if all electrical work took place on the habitable side of the walls. Electricians, more than nearly any other tradesmen, are forced to operate near sawdust and insulation. That material is extremely unpleasant and can cause severe skin irritation, so you'll want to wear a face mask and eye protection. It goes up over your collar and onto your face and wrists even if you're wearing long sleeves. A bottle of baby powder or a small package of cornstarch can be used to solve this problem. Under collars and sleeve ends, lightly coat exposed skin. Make sure your face and ears are covered while keeping your eyes open. This barrier will prevent the insulation from settling straight on the surface. Know your rights. It's not easy to work with electricity. It's also not secure. Every day when electricians go to work, they're exposed to a significant amount of risk. Electrical cables, circuitry, and fixtures are installed by electricians in order to deliver electricity. They're also in charge of keeping these components in working order once they've been installed. Even if you consider yourself a sophisticated master DIYer because you've watched a few home improvement shows, there is a large degree of danger when working with electrical. Electricity can cause burns, collapsed lungs from arc exposures, and involuntary muscle contractions. Thus, electricians, as well as other citizens, should use caution when working any electricity or electrical component. So, that is why it's more important than ever that you are familiar with your rights as an electrician. You have the right to a safe workplace as an electrical worker, or as any other type of worker. The Occupational Health and Safety Administration, OSHA, exists to safeguard that right. And rules have been put in place to safeguard you. The OSHA website has a wealth of material to assist you. Brush up on your workers' rights or learn them if you don't already know them. Knowledge is power, and it will help keep you safe at work. Be prepared for anything. Preparation is key to avoiding a possibly dangerous incident. When working on an electrical project, it's critical to evaluate the type of project you're working on as well as what could go wrong. Is there a likelihood that such and such a scenario will come to pass? If anything happens, you'd better bring something to deal with it. Taking the time to thoroughly consider all scenarios that may arise and plan accordingly will enable you to deal with the unexpected when it occurs. And there you have it, some of the top tips for new electricians that will definitely help you out on the job. But if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you're already an electrician, running your own business, or just about to start and grow your electrical business, you must learn the four critical things electrical business owners wish they had learned before starting an electrical business. So don't make the same mistakes. Electrical Accelerator have put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your electrical business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work. Free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you'll also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other electricians and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link in the description below the video.